There's got to be a way in which we receive praise and affirmation so that we have this deep, healthy identity in Christ that is, uh, is full of confidence that we uh, in Christ are more than conquerors, that we in Christ are gifted, and that we in Christ have been empowered by the Holy Spirit. And yet at the same time, that we have a beautiful humility that is like Christ himself. Jesus emptied himself. Jesus humbled himself. Jesus laid down his life. He didn't do it because he needed to please someone else. He did it because he was so inwardly secure. Humility is never a relinquishment of your personal rights or your calling because you feel like you have to lest you'll be rejected. Real humility is, according to Andrew Murray, complete dependence on God. I love that. Complete dependence on God. It actually is the posture of the heart that recognizes with delight that I'm utterly in a dependent, trusting relationship on God. It is a delight to be able to serve others. It's not a sign of your insecurity. It's a sign of the great security that you have in Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And Jesus so loved you that He didn't grasp hold of His greatness, but He poured Himself out for you. So you can, at the same time, be utterly confident in the love of God for you and yet be utterly humble so God can use you.